In this video, we're going to see how to use Power Apps Canvas apps using lookups for relationships and option sets. Let's start looking at, at this uh, from the perspective of Dynamics CRM. So um, I have on Dynamics or CDS um, a custom entity that I created that are actually called uh, service requests. And then on service requests, I have many lookups that I already implemented. So I have the account, the contact, the user, the lead, and then I have the option set, which is a service type. And then the service type, you know, you can select uh, different service types, uh, options. This is from the perspective of Dynamics 365 custom engagement. So now let's check into the customer, uh, the common data services. Uh, we're looking for the same entity. And you will see that I have the same fields for the lookups uh, and then the service type. So the lookups are, you know, the same fields that I have on the um, um, Dynamics 365 CE. So now let's look into the application. For the application, I have the browser gallery. And in the browser gallery, one of the things that I have is actually I filter if I want to see all the records or if I want to see um, only active records or only uh, deactivated records are inactive. And then I sorted by the created on. So you will see like the, the most recent fields, um, the most recent records are going to be on the top um, and they're going to be sorted by the field created on. So let's run the application. As you can see, this is the application. And now I have the latest one and the most recent one that's uh, from uh, 1128. Um, the details on the, uh, on the record are that I have the account, the account label or the account name. Uh, the account ID, the contact, the contact name. Uh, in this uh, case is the full name, um, the contact ID, the lead, the full name, the lead ID, the assigned to, uh, in this case, are, are the user's uh, entity uh, or system users, and then the user full name, and then the ID, and then um, we have the option set with the, the number or the value, and then the label. But let's see how we use those. So um, when we create a brand new record uh, for our um, scenario, we're actually creating all of these uh, fields uh, as a combo boxes. When using the combo boxes, what we do is actually selecting a specific uh, entities. So on the account, I'm selecting the account entity. Um, and on this one, one of the things that I did for the account is, uh, when I select an account, I want to make sure that I'm selecting uh, for the contacts, the related contacts. So I know on Lidware, I'm going to get three different contacts that are related to that account. So um, these are actually the contacts and I, I filter every time. So if I go uh, and select that one, and then later on, I change from Lidware to parent account. As you can see, I only have one uh, contact at that point. So let's leave that one. Uh, for the leads, I, I also do the same thing. I use uh, another uh, data source for the leads. Uh, and I can select any of the leads that I want. The same thing for the uh, assigned to. I can use an entity. In my case, what I'm doing is because I notice that I have so many records on the system user or the users that I don't need. Um, those records are actually related for service accounts and other things that are available in um, Dynamics 365 CE. I just want to have the specific users that I want to be showing. So one of the things that I did is actually I created a collection. So let me show you the collections that I created. Um, and these collections are on the on visible for the main uh, page. Let me show you the code. So I have a collection for the option sets and these are the option set labels and these are actually the option set uh, values for uh, that label. Uh, and I will be using this. I recommend you to use this one as an extremely easy uh, as long as you know the and you know how to get the values from uh, the CDS or the customer uh, engagement. Um, you will actually be able to put the numbers and then use those numbers when you're actually saving. You will see that later on. For the users, this is the collection uh, that I created for the users. And I use a tool for Dynamics 365 that is called, and let me show you the tool, that is called the CRM REST Builder. Uh, this is actually from Jason Latimer. Um, and you can get that uh, uh, that tool you know, embedded into CRM. And it's actually a solution that you can get. And this tool allows you to you know, bring all the information and we can create the request. And I can execute the request and actually it's going to load the request and it's going to give me all the information about, you know, the entities. In this uh, situation, I just, you know, created a, the request for an account 
and it's going to give me all the metadata and all the values for that account and all those records. But um, we can do the same thing for uh, the users, and that's how I end up, you know, getting all these users and then their GUID ID for the value. Also, I have another collection, you know, for the browsing options where I can actually say I want to see all the records, only active records or inactive records. But that's going to be out of scope on this video. But I'm going to, you know, I just want to show you uh, all the collections that I have. So using um, those collections. So if I go to the screen for the edit screen uh, and I go into the assign and I go see the data source for the assign, you can see that I'm using that. Um, collection and I'm using the name as a primary text and then the search field is going to be the name. Um, the same thing for the option set on the service request type. I'm using the option set uh, collection and then I'm using the name and then for the primary text and then for the search text. For accounts, I'm using the account uh, entity. So I created several data connections uh, and I used the account connection for, for that one, for that data source. Um, one of the things that I do here, you know, just to validate that I have uh, the related um, uh, uh, contacts for the account. So on the on change or on the on, on select, one of the things that I do is actually I reset the uh, contact combo box. So I don't have any value at that point and then create a collection uh, that is called my filter contacts in that collection. It's actually um, the account that I selected and then I look into the company name so uh, I can see that, you know, their contacts are going to be only related to that account. So um, and then you will get, you know, this type of delegation warning um, so far is working fine. I don't see any problem with that one, but, you know, later on I can fix it. Um, and then again, you know, when we actually save the, the, the record, uh, we will be able to use um, this code right here and this is where we add the record and when we use the patch function uh, for the service request and then the service request one of, one of the things that I'm going to do is um, I'm going to pass for the accounts uh, uh, the selected record for the account and as you can see at the very end I use the account uh, or the account ID for the account um, the contact ID for the contact the um, the value in the collection that I use for the assign on the on the system users, which in this case is going to give me the GUID, and also for the service type I'm using um, the value for the collection that is going to be the service type, and then I just pass it in into that one. Another thing that I did in this one, I just want to make sure that you know we can get both examples, you know, from the Power Apps and then also from Flow. Um, for the flow, one of the thing, the thing that I did is actually exactly the same thing. I just pass the values, and then automatically flow. Um, I will put it in into the correct one. So let's start actually building some uh, records, and let's do one. You know, this one is going to be for the parent account. Um, let me assign that one to me, and then that's going to be external. Um, and this one is sample one. Sample one using Power Apps. Okay, and then we're gonna save it with Power Apps. Okay, that is done. Then if we go back to the browse screen, here it is. The first one is uh, sample one using Power Apps. So I created that today. Now let's build another one similar sample. If I can type today, sample two using flow and then I can show you the flow actually the flow is extremely simple on how do I use it so let's use uh, Lidware and Lidware I know I have three contacts uh, and I'm going to use Susan I'm going to use Maria Campbell as a lead and then I'm going to assign it to John and the service request is going to be a database request and now we're going to use flow to save it okay that's done. As you can see, if we refresh, now that's flow created the record. Okay, so now let's check out flow so I can show you how easy it was to create the flow. So, flow is actually just two steps one is getting the variables from Power Apps. And then the second one is, the second one is creating a, a new record uh, using uh, the Dynamics 365 um, connector. 
And then here it is, you know, just the names that I pass, you know, uh, you will see that you have two account fields, account name fields. Uh, one is actually the ID and the other one is a complex, um, uh, direct, uh, complex field. Uh, and then, you know, you will actually use the first one, which is the ID. Same thing for the assigned to, which is for the users, for the contacts, for the leads. And for the service type, you just pass the value. Um, for the dates, one of the things that I do with the dates is actually I convert it to uh, UTC and then I use uh, the, depending on the UTC that you are, um, I don't know why it's not showing. Uh, there it is. And I'm passing uh, Central American Standard Time and I have my UTC and then, you know, that's how I validate that. So pretty simple on the flow. And if we go back into the flow, Yes, I'm going to leave that one. As you can see, it actually succeeded. And now let's check on the values. And pretty much these are the values that I pass into the flow. And as you can see, all of them are actually good for the lookups and then the value for the option set. So I hope this uh, helped you to understand how to use lookups and option sets. Um, the next video is going to be a little bit more uh, interesting because it's going to be actually how to pass just the labels to flow and then actually do the manipulation to find the values or GUIDs for the lookups in flow. Okay, hope you, this, uh, this video helped you and uh, see you soon.